For those of you who don't know, I am a Canadian immigration lawyer and I practice in Toronto. I work at a firm in Toronto and I've been practicing for three years now. I primarily do, I guess I do mostly all types of Canadian immigration matters, including study permits, work permits, permanent residency, religious permits, significant benefit permits, so a lot of different applications. And I specialize in business immigration, so LMIA work permits, intracompany transfers, and so on. I could, I could talk about different types of immigration applications. So I've been doing it almost for about three years now. And I get this question a lot of times, what is it like being a Canadian immigration lawyer? And I'm going to go on and explain to you what it's like. But in a nutshell, I think that it is a very rewarding practice in the sense that I get to make a difference in people's lives, helping them move from one country to another. It is extremely personal to me because my life has changed a lot for the better since I moved to Canada. I have been able to actually explore my potential. I've been able to go after my dreams. And I felt that, you know, I am free to do whatever I want in this country. So this practice area is personal to me and I find it really rewarding. But at the same time, like any other practice area, it can be stressful too. You know, you have a responsibility. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you what is it like being a Canadian immigration lawyer. So as a Canadian immigration lawyer, you know, you are working and helping people with moving them to Canada. Now, it could be either personally. So, for example, if somebody wants to move to Canada by themselves, you know, you help them with strategy. What immigration option is the best for you? How will this immigration option benefit you? in terms of getting you permanent residency in Canada and then eventually becoming a Canadian citizen. So a lot of what I do is actually sit with a client and understand their background, their goals, and then because of my experience, knowledge, I'm able to understand Canada immigration rules, regulations, acts, case law, I'm able to advise them on what is it that they should do and then I prepare those applications for them. So what you're basically doing as a lawyer is helping can, uh, clients with strategy, implementing that strategy and then making that application. So it could be, like I said, a personal application. So for example, somebody, I don't know, somebody, any of my subscribers, let's just say anyone comes to me, I will help them with a the strategy and then helping them find a solution for the Canadian immigration matters. That's one, that's, I guess, one type of application. Another type of application as a Canadian immigration lawyer is that you can work with companies or businesses, helping them move their workers from, I don't know, from the United States to Canada. So what you're really doing is that you are a lawyer for, for that company and you're helping them transfer their employees, keep their employees, retain talent. Nowadays, it is extremely hard to retain talent in Canada. So a lot of companies will, you know, sort of want to move their workers from different parts of the world uh, and then bring them to Canada. Sometimes we, I also transfer workers who have specialized knowledge uh, about the company. So let's just say there's a company in China and they, uh, those workers have specialized knowledge about the company and then that company wants to move that worker to Canada. So I would help them do that. So that's something that you can expect to do as a Canadian immigration lawyer. Now some of the more entrepreneurial programs, if a company wants to establish themselves in Canada, how do you do that? So I would help them with their immigration strategy. How do you come to Canada? How do you establish a business in Canada? So as a lawyer, as an immigration lawyer, I would help them with immigration strategy. And then sometimes for businesses, we would also refer 
them to business lawyers to help them incorporate and do all of the business stuff. So that's another type of application that you can do as a Canadian immigration lawyer. Now, some of the other, I would say, fun programs, for example, self-employed programs, you can also help people who are really established in their hometowns, for example, athletes, musicians, actors, um, sort of move to Canada and, and come here to work. So there are different types of applications that you could work on. And it's, to be honest with you, it's a lot of fun working on different types of applications because every application is so different, their criterias are so different, and then when you meet with a client, you sort of have to think through rules, regulations, different programs, which one is going to benefit them. And that's the, that's the fun part about being a lawyer, is that figuring out what is it that is going to serve my client um, in the best possible way. What is the best immigration pathway for them? So that they're able to come to Canada, not only come here temporarily, but also can they actually permanently be here helping their children and so that is the gist of what a Canadian immigration lawyer does, figuring out strategy, implementation of the strategy. And I can talk and go on about different programs available and different things that, that you can do. Uh, the other thing that you can do is also help students. So one of the things in my practice that I've noticed is that students are targeted for fraud. They're given bad advice. And then sometimes they just sort of and I feel really bad about this because, you know, students come here to study and then sometimes they're given advice that is not actually beneficial to them in the long run. And sometimes they're only given short-sighted advice in the sense that, well, you come study in Canada as a student and then there's no other pathway for them. So as a Canadian immigration lawyer, I strongly feel that, you know, sometimes and this is just my personal experience that sometimes when you're trying to move to Canada and you don't really understand a lot about what is it like being a student and you may just end up going with it, you know, you may end up getting a cheaper service for your immigration needs or you end up asking somebody and sort of like not knowing what is it that you really want to do you may end up in a situation where you know it won't really benefit your immigration needs. So sometimes I also work on cases, especially on study permits, where you know students were given some sort of wrong advice, they're now out of status, and then you know we have to figure out how do we sort of get them back into status and how do we sort of really help them with getting status again. So sometimes it's like you know, we're going to do an application, but other times the application is a client is in, in a real difficulty and uh, how to help them. As a Canadian immigration lawyer, you can also deal with some emergency cases too. Like, for example, sometimes a client is denied entry into Canada. What do you do at that point? Um, your client is at an airport and you get a call from your client and, you know, they're saying that nobody's listening to me. What do I do now? So helping your client sort of figure out that if somebody is being deported from Canada, what do you do in that situation? How do you help that person out? If you want to contest a, um, a decision made by an immigration officer, if you feel like, you know, this was a wrong decision. And, and the funny part is that sometimes not like oftentimes I an officer can make the wrong decision, too. So everybody's human, and sometimes there, there are issues and decisions too, so we can appeal the decision as well. Um, as a lawyer, you can appeal the decision and sort of help the client in that way as well. The best part about my practice and the thing that I enjoy the most is, you know, working with a client when they're in their hometown, and then a couple of years later when they actually get their permanent residency. You know, I... When I work with clients like that, it's like I was part of their journey and I was able to make that happen. And that's really rewarding for me. Again, because of my personal story, it is really rewarding for me to see that I met you at a time where this was just a dream for you. And now when you're becoming a Canadian permanent resident, I was able to share that dream with you. Every time I get an approval for permanent residency, I call my client and I am as excited as them. And, you know, we need to celebrate that. So that's the best part about being a Canadian immigration lawyer, I would say, is that 
is that when someone you work with, when they were in their hometown, really scared, not knowing what to expect, and then the time when I call them that, hey, you're a Canadian permanent resident now, it's, I can't explain in words how happy that makes me feel. This is a profession that you are interested in. I would definitely recommend that you look into it. If you are looking for a Canadian immigration lawyer, I would be happy to assist, especially if you're a student looking to apply to Canada. You know, as a lawyer, I, and again, it's, it's not to say that, you know, one service is better than the other or not to say one is bad or one is good. But, you know, when you are coming in as a student, you're at that age when you're younger, you don't really understand that much. And again, if I was 15, uh, if I was like 18 years old and I'm coming to Canada, again, that would be me too. So just make sure when you're spending the money and you're spending the time, just make sure that you spend it wisely because it's not about one solution. It's about your entire immigration strategy. There's no point in coming to Canada as a student and then not knowing what to do next, right? The goal should be to eventually see a bigger solution. And that's something that I've learned by practicing at my firm. My boss has been practicing for many years and that's something that I learned from him. Um, you know, that's how I've been trained is to think that, well, you are helping a client right now, but what about the future? How are we gonna help them make this into, you know, a solution that is actually going to be beneficial for them, not just the immediate strategy. If a client comes to you, hi, hey, I want to study in Canada. Okay, great. But my job is to make sure, well, what is it this person going to do after they complete their studies? Are they going to, how are they going to get a job or like, how are they going to become permanent resident? Because some programs in Canada, you know, do you really have an option to become permanent residents or not? Some programs may not really get you permanent residence. Some kind of roles or like occupations may not be what, not be eligible for permanent residency. So as a lawyer, this is your job because the client won't know what they don't know. Your job is to provide them with, give them with the information and sort of show them the roadmap. So I am really passionate about what I do. And, you know, if you need any assistance or if you, have any questions, I would be happy to help. I'll put my information in the description box below. Just note that I am unable to provide legal advice privately, so it has to be through the firm that I'm at. And uh, if you do need assistance, you can contact me at my email address that I'm gonna be putting in the description box below. I'll put a link to my firm that I'm at as well as my contact information. Thank you guys for watching and yeah, I will see you in my next video.